Hi everybody, I'm Rochelle, the mother of the mother-daughter owners of Godiva's Secret Wigs. And I am very happy to have Carol with me today. Say hi to everybody. Hi everybody. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, I forgot to put a wig on. So I may as well just show you how to put a wig on over my hair or any hair. So all I'm going to do is slick the back, and if you have a little longer hair, I make a loop in the back. That becomes the anchor for my wig. And I am going to be wearing, in honor of grays, because <laughs> we're going gray today, um, Alana in Frosted Taupe. Ooh. Great wig. I'm just putting it right over the bun that I made. And then up at the hairline and even the tabs. And isn't that cute? It mm -hmm. is. It's darling. And I could trim bangs into it or whatever, but I I had to be matching you. We've got to coordinate <laughs> some way. <laughs> so it's so beautiful. tell me, thank you. So when I saw the picture of you, your hair was darker. And so I've switched some styles around to make the colors so that Carol will like it. But so talk to me about that. Well, I've always had lighter hair. So when, if I put on darker hair, it really accents, um, it accents your age. I think if, you, if you're starting to get older or you are older, it just accents all the negative things that you don't want okay. showing as an older woman. Okay, okay. So the lighter colors soften a bit. Got it. Okay, so you, so is this your natural color right now? Well, sort of. I, I put a champagne color on it because it's so hard okay. to cover the gray. I have, I'm real gray right through here. Tell me. And, and then I put, I don't know why I put champagne beige on it. It should have been a, just a light blonde and it went kind of, looks pink to me. So do you I do your know. own color? Oh yeah. Well, I don't color very often, and okay. uh, the more wigs I acquire, the less I'm going to be wearing this hair. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay. So, are you a wig wearer now? Do you own any of our wigs? Uh, or I, any wigs? One. One. Okay. And and then I I have another one that is kind of blonde in the front and darker and short, and uh, I like that one probably best. But okay. Good. All right. Well, I'm just going to take you on a tour of. Gray. So what I'm hearing from talking with Carol is her comfort zone is in the light color similar to her. And I think this is not a bad that's, match that's either. Really a pretty color. Right? Mm -hmm. So pretty. so this frosted taupe is great if you're thinking about starting to go gray like I am. I mean, look at my roots. Wow. I am gray. Well, oh, that's how this whole is. line, oh my gosh, in a week and a half. I'm going gray. <laughs> it's like, it's crazy. So I'm thinking about it while I'm working with you. So I'm going to show you first a top piece. Okay. And uh, I think that you might like it. And all of you, while you're watching, grab a cup of coffee and a pen and paper. And if you like a style or a color, know that all the colors come in different styles. So Although I'm showing grays, they come in beautiful blondes, reds, and browns, of course. So this is a little Christie top. Oh, and we have Ellie here, too, uh, from a previous video. So if you hear some talking, say hi, Ellie. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so Christie top is great. I want to see, oh, wow, that's a, that's a great color match. This is Silverstone. So let's say you just want a little extra height and you don't feel like wearing a wig. I mean, even the best wigs every day you get tired of. Well, and my hair is thinnest at the front. Right. I'm, I'm just receding um, rapidly. I understand that and I am too. So it could be trimmed. I'm not how do you part your hair normally? Are you parting the way I am? Left to right? No. Right to left. Right to okay, left, so think. let's look for but, but I mean it really doesn't matter. It's not an issue. All right. Do you show ears or don't show ears? I like well, not all my ear. 
Okay. Uh, you know, if I've got a piece in front, it's okay. But, okay. But yeah. All right. And let me just say, starting out, you're a beautiful woman. I love your eyes, Thank you. shape of your face, great. And so can you tell us uh, about your age? Well, my age is about 80. <laughs> Wow. Almost 80. Wow. So I'll be 80 this year. You look fantastic. Well, thank you. You really do. And I think also it has so much to do with energy and are we happy in our lives? And, you yes, know. I'm, I'm happy in my life. Well, good. It shows. <laughs> Beautiful <laughs> smile. So this is just a top. And I... Well, that's a... It's not completely covering you no. in the back. If you were shorter in the back, yeah. I would say Christy top. Can you just turn and look way to the left here? I want to say, so Christy is not completely covering Carol's hair in the back. Okay, but so I would suggest a medium top, a medium top in silver stone, and then we can trim it and layer it but it would oh. be long enough to cover, to cover all so. of your hair and brush in with your hair. Oh, that's a thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so great one to look at, medium top. Anyway, I had to start off with a top and see that, yes, silver stone is a great color. And then I'm just rolling it off and down, oh. and then it never pulls. Do you like, did you like that? Yes, yeah, Silverstone, surprisingly, is a good color. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm going to take you deeper right now. Can we put your hair sure. behind your ears? Whatever, sure. Okay. And I've chosen Peggy in Sandy Silver. Okay. So we want to move all your bangs, everything away. And this is a little deeper but still sandy silver is light in the front. So I'm looking for style and color. And I know you wear a wig, so you can get in there, put your hands in there. I like the style. Oh, yeah, and the fact that it's light around your face, that's what you yeah, want. Yeah, right? I think that's what I need. I, it can be darker, I just mm -hmm. need I just need it around my face oh, to I, soften my face a little I, bit. I get it. And sandy silver, the little deeper, it really gives you some dimension instead of just the one color. Uh -huh. So really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. um, What's side this view. Week? This is Peggy. Oh, okay. Peggy is a great little wig, short in the back. And if you will look to the left, I just want to show everybody a little. There you go. So what I love to do with Peggy is just graze my fingers and it makes a great uh, wavy, just beautiful, looks styled. And this is all Peggy. So really nice looking. I can trim the bangs. I like this. I do too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah. we're off to a good start. Yeah. I love the deeper color. And I do have a lighter, so we will compare okay. um, silver mink and silver stone with sandy silver. Oh, okay. Okay, let's keep going here. And when you're not wearing our wigs, just turn them inside out. Oh, okay. And so when you're storing wigs, you can store them all together. They don't have to be an in individual plastic. Most important, don't leave them anywhere you wouldn't put your body. Like you wouldn't leave your body in a hot trunk. <laughs> so don't do that. A cool place, okay. your bedroom, wherever, but not a hot car. Wigs don't like intense heat. But clients will write in and say, I'm going to Hawaii or it's going to be really hot in Taiwan, can I wear my wig? Of course. Anywhere you will take yourself, you can take your wig. Okay. <laughs> so, we're going to move on with Selma, a different style. And I wanted to see you in Frosty Blonde. So, it still has the coolness, but it's got some different colors. So, let's try Selma. And so I can tone all of it down, but let's look at color for a minute here. That color works.
works as well. And I think the key is the lightness around your the face. Yes. That, yeah, I think yes. that that's, I think that's, if it's light around my face, mm -hmm. then, then the, the darker in the back doesn't, isn't an issue. So. Pretty. Yeah, I like this. It's cute. And what I would do is just round out. We have a great product, a hot roller brush. And we never suggest heat with any of our products. Um, this is actually what mine looks like. And I can just round out. So it's heat, but it's not like hot like your normal blow dryer. Oh. Because our wigs don't require any heat. And you don't want to use too much. You will change the look of the wig. But I can manipulate it, or you at home, you can use our hot roller brush. We have it on our website. And it would just, I would trim these a little bit and just mm -hmm. round them and flatten them down. So between both short styles, this was Selma and the first was Peggy. Do you see the difference? I do. I see the difference. Okay. You can go either way, but my preference right now would be Peggy. The first one? Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I probably. probably I agree. I agree. Okay, but let's have a big smile in Selma. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. Next. I have to try Freedom on you, and I'm putting it in Silver Stone. So it's a little longer, but Freedom can be shortened so easily. And okay. I, I love to do it too, but let's look for color also. And always make sure the tabs are even, which I just did. So silver stone is lighter all the way around. So do you see the difference I between do. the sandy silver and, and the silver and the yes. silver stone? Okay, I want to see a smile, so I can then I can really see. Okay, it's great too, um, and it's. Sorry, I'm asking you to smile, but <laughs> when when I know you're happy, it's not that you're not, but when. I'm trying to say, does that wig work on that woman? I want to see her looking happy. Mm. Oh, because if she if she's smiling, I can tell. Okay, it's not the right color. It's like when you're looking your best, and your best is a smile. Then how does the wig look? So that's what I'm a judge with that. So I'm going to say that with this, because it's more of one color, it, it sort of washes you. Whereas with the oh, I see. Peggy, you had the light and then you had all that beautiful contrast. Yes. Yes. And I am going to put Peggy back on right now mm. so we can see the color and you all can see the color. Silver stone, will you just look to your left? It still goes deeper in the back, but here is the difference. Sandy silver and much deeper in the mm -hmm. back, but still the lightness yeah. okay, in the front. Right. So, take a good look at that and close your eyes. We're only looking at color right now. And let's go back. Peggy in Sandy Silver. Yeah, I vote yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this, this. Yeah, I like this. It just is more dimension. It adds yes. more dimension. Right. It works yeah. with your eyebrows. It's just it interesting. Has the softness and yet still has some color to it. So that right. I just don't look all gray. So now I, I, I like the style too. I do too. What do you think, yeah, Ellie? Yeah, that so far that's my preference. Mm -hmm. What yeah. do you all think? We want to read your comments. <laughs> <laughs> See if you agree with us or not. But yes, I love the style. I love the softness of the bang. I would just trim a little bit. Yeah. A little airiness. You know, some women, they put a wig on and they're going like this. No, I yeah. mean, do whatever you want. But what really makes, helps wigs to enhance a woman is the little, little height. That little height. Yeah. So just take your fingers and just guide it back. And you get that little extra height. So flattering. 
Mm -hmm. I like this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, let's keep going here. So this is an even lighter color. This is Abigail in silver mink. Beautiful color, and this is a lace front wig. Oh, okay. So some women like that. It may be too much hair, it may not. So let's just, I had to see you in this. Was your hair ever longer like this? Oh, in fact, I used to wear my hair like this. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. But I, I think, as, as I've aged, when I wear my hair like this, it kind of pulls. Unless I have bangs or something to give me a right. little lift. And I can easily put bangs on this wig. So let's just picture it. But I can bring bangs straight down. And I, I get what you mean. We get older and the bangs soften our forehead. Yeah. So just to have a look. Oh, that's nice. You know, I, I love the hair, but honestly, I don't know that it goes with the face. It's, I feel it's too much. It's yeah. too much. Now let's just look and see if I tone this down. Because many women, they order a wig and they... They get it in the mail, and they put it on, and it's full, and they say no. And many times, it's just flattening the wig down. And I would probably shorten this, uh -huh. because this, to me, it doesn't work with your look. I would rather soften it, and look at here is your hair. So let's just say this was trimmed. So I'm just toning it down a little bit. Let's just see. I still, I love Peggy. I'm loving Peggy, the first wig mm -hmm. on you. But let's just look. I mean, it is, it is. I mean, I really like, I like the style. I like everything about it. May not be for the first but time. I, yeah. But I get what you're, I get it. I like the height, mm -hmm. but you don't need this extra length right here. No. I don't think. No, I don't what think do you I think? do either. Okay. All right. So Let's what do you keep think? going. I think I still prefer Peggy. No, I do too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then I have a couple of little wild cards I want to put on you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just because I know Carol's going for light. But I saw a photo of her a little darker, so I'm just, I'm a little curious for myself. Okay. So, just pacify me for okay. a minute. So, I'm going to put Quinn on, but really I want you to see the color honey okay. and wheat. Let's just look. Because our audience and I don't really know you, so we don't have a story of what Carol and looks what I, like. What I am, or what I love. Of like, what really. you make as right or wrong. You know, with our own hair color, we choose the best color that we think. But with wigs, there's more what mood are you in. It's not, you don't have to make yourself crazy to choose the best color, the best color. If something tickles you in a color, try it because. Like most of our clients, Ellie, how many wigs do you have now? Four or five, yeah. And are they all the same color? No. <laughs> no, did you hear that? So, no, you just be who you want to be. So, I want to see you in this. No. No. I'm still Sandy Silver. No, yeah. yeah. For you. Okay, all right. I wanted to see it. It's amazing what a difference just the color makes. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. It gives you a whole different personality. Almost. Right. Uh -huh. So that's kind of pretty. This is another Peggy. So the one we've liked so mo so much so far is Peggy in Sandy Silver. This is Peggy in Nutmeg F. Okay. So that's what I wanted to see. Let's see how we do. So we know we like the style. And for those of you, you wear a different color. If your little tab, your little temples are gray, that's okay because we still dye our own hair and our temples, our little oh, ear areas go gray. So that's all right. 
Okay, I'm going to give this a shake and start again because I like to start a little fuller. Okay. Everybody knows I like to shake my wigs. So let's try this again. Let's talk about this color a minute. <laughs> I don't know that it enhances you. I mean, it's a beautiful wig, beautiful coloration. Yeah, I like the, the style. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. It is. It is. It does have the lighter blonde through it, but the little warmth. This would probably be my... This would be probably be my second favorite. Mm -hmm. I like the. I like the. I like the way that it is uh, weaved with the blonde and the and the warmer color kind of. I do too, it's... and it goes darker in the back. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? And what do you think? I like the warmth. It's just fun for a different look. Mm -hmm. And I'm a lot of them, <clears throat> yeah. sometimes the different color that you wear in your clothes right. makes a difference in right. it's true. Yeah. And you how know. you do your makeup as well. That's true. Exactly. That's true. It's just a different mood. Or when I'm wearing yeah. browns and blacks or leopards or whatever, I love my Nutmeg F colors. Mm -hmm. It just goes with everything. But in the cooler colors, the grays, the blues, the purples, the reds. I mean, so like a lot of clients will say when they comment on our videos is wear whatever color you want to wear. And then they put their wig on first and then accessorize and choose their clothing based on their oh. wig color. <laughs> and they'll think what wig, like if I'm wearing a darker wig, I'm darkening my eyebrows. I'm putting a little more blush on. Today I knew I was going to go light, so I left my makeup a little bit lighter, a little bit softer. But that, it's fun. It's like another accessory. It is. It is. However, I do have to say, I don't have warm color clothes. Okay. I have mostly cool color. I, I'm just a cool color. You're a cool lady. <laughs> Well, maybe Nutmeg F will change the choices you make in but your I wardrobe. Do, I really like this color. It's very pretty. I love this blonde uh -huh. highlight. Yeah, These like the lines of blonde in there are beautiful. And uh, you pay to have that done, and that's a lot. If you have your own hair done, so why worry about dyeing your own hair? <laughs> <laughs> so let's go back to the same mm -hmm. wig, Peggy. But let's look Sandy Silver. Okay. One more time, because yeah. I think you're down to these two, right? I am. I am. Okay, smile in this one. Okay. It's beautiful. I love it with your blue eyes, too. Hmm. Okay? Okay. Here we go. And I think what our audience is seeing is there isn't only one color choice. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Okay. I don't even want to touch it. Looks darn good to me. Yeah, I, I, I like, I think this is, I think this is it. The style or the color? Both? Um, both. Yeah, both. Probably my favorite. I, w I would like, um, how do I put this? The bang's a little bit um, pixie, a little frayed, a little. You want it that way? Uh huh. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. And, okay, you talk a minute. I'm going to run and get my scissors. Okay. <laughs> talk to our audience. I think, you know, I like. The other way too, I like that one, but I'd have to be very careful about the color I chose to wear clothes wise. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is Peggy in what? something silver. Uh, silver mink? No, sandy silver. Sandy silver. Okay. Peggy in sandy silver. So. 
Oh, and Rochelle's going to do it right here. I'm going right. to do it right here and right <laughs> now. Wow. And your clothes are slippery, so the hair will fall right off. Oh. <laughs> so, you loving it? I am. Great. Actually, I, I am. I want to show you all how I trim bangs. Oh, but, okay. Um, yes, I love that on you. And it just needs a little bit. A little um, feathering, I guess, I, is what the word I could think I of. I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. So, most important, the ear tabs are on each side. I want to make sure when I'm trimming a wig, or if you're going to your hairdresser, you make sure the tabs are even. You don't want one up oh. here and one <laughs> down here. And that it's right at your hairline. Perfect. Okay. Let's just do it because I want to show you how easy it is to trim bangs. So, trust me. Thank <laughs> <Right> you. <here. laughs> And I always start a little longer than I know you want it. And I'm not pulling down. Right. I'm just holding it. Because if I pull down and cut, the bangs are going to pop oh. up. It'll be too short. So I'm just trimming on the diagonal. piece in a minute. You know, this is the scary part for clients that don't know me, but I will tell you, if you don't like what I'm doing, you don't no, have I'll to take it. Because <laughs> you hear the you know, yeah. it's a little scary, isn't it? But see how we're getting there right mm -hmm. now? Yes. I'm going to just take a little bit more right here. Isn't that great? Yes, it is. Let me get around the side. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> yeah, but as soon as bangs are trimmed, it just changes the whole look. So I will clean this up a little bit, but uh, I want to thank you for being my model well, thank today, you. and I hope you enjoy this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye.